The 2024 school year is about to begin, but several students are finding themselves in turmoil as colleges across the U.S. announce a wave of program cuts to help make ends meet. Those cuts come as budget challenges mount for schools after the end of that federal COVID relief money, along with rising operational costs and drops in enrollment. Schools, both big and small, are now being forced to slash programs in order to keep their doors open, with most cuts hitting the humanities, things like music, arts, theater, world religions, and more. But the cost-saving measures are upending some students' college experiences, undoing years of work, and forcing them to change their degree or change their school. And with all this at stake, it has some students wondering if a four-year degree is even worth it. So joining me now, Editor-in-Chief of the Princeton Review, Rob Franick. Rob, thank you so much for your time. Uh, there's this wave yes, of program cuts in recent months. Funding seems, though, like it's always been an issue at many high, you know, institutions of higher learning. So what is so different now? Well, a couple of things, and, and you're right to point out, funding has always been an issue in college, but it comes down to enrollment, enrollment, enrollment. And as you had noted in your introduction, there's a couple of tectonic shifts that have happened in the last couple of years. First, the lasting effects of, of COVID, and now schools coming to grips with that uh, sort of reality from a budget perspective. Number two, the demographic cliff. There were simply fewer people born in 2007, 2008, 2009, you know, the last financial turndown. Those students are now college age, and there are fewer of them, particularly in the Midwest, Northeast, and Middle Atlantic states, where the majority of four-year colleges are, particularly independent schools. And then just thinking about, you know, Financial aid overall, the financial aid fiasco, the FAFSA fiasco that happened in 2023, 24, simply fewer students applied for financial aid. So there are fewer students going around to fill those enrollment gaps. And that's what schools are looking at right now. Yeah, that FAFSA certainly was a fiasco. Rob, what does this mean for students who specifically chose a campus, specifically chose a school because of its degree programs? And then oh, those programs are just gone. It, it is a sad state of affairs when students that enroll at a school because of a particular academic discipline or a major or just course of study, and then that is no longer there. Now, a couple of things of good news. Number one, these programs will fulfill those students that are already enrolled in them, so they'll be there for the next few years, and they will have likely articulation agreements with other schools that have those programs. So those students won't be left out to dry academically, but it is sad that, those, that there's just a redaction in the number of majors offered, particularly in the area as you had noted, humanities, foreign, uh, foreign languages, and so on. Last question for you, Rob. We know everything yeah. ebbs and flows. Do you think we'll see this trend of cuts may re reverse and start to see more programs added? I wish the answer was yes. And, and the, the answer is yes for some schools, but not all schools. You know, this demographic shift is not going away anytime soon. So schools that can weather this enrollment, you know, hiccup, they will likely be fine, and as will their academic disciplines. But many schools will sadly either rebrand, some will close, and the ultimate losers in that are students. Now, we're, we're glass half full kind of folks at the Princeton Review. I do think that schools are providing an exceptional experience for students academically and otherwise, but they're going to be looking for return on their investment for particular academic majors. Those are the ones that are likely going to pay off. All right. Editor-in-Chief of the Princeton Review, Rob Franick, thank you for your time. Pleasure, Nicole. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.